There are bullet holes in this door. Dude, can you believe at one point this Did that door literally just opened by itself? No, that door legit just opened by itself. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Osarji, welcome back to another adventure. Now you guys know, I like to mix it up sometimes. I like to give you guys the haunted, I like to give you guys the abandoned, I like to give you guys all the adventures that I possibly can. Today I'm actually at this abandoned trailer park that has a meth lab. Apparently a lot of drugs were cooked up in this trailer park. So CJ, my boy and I, we are here, we're about to explore this place. Where it is, there's still drugs left behind. So what do you guys say? Move along through this trailer park and see what we can find. All right, you guys, the adventure begins. This is kind of a cool video. Whoa, what the hell was that? I think there's somebody back there. This is kind of a cool video because there's abandoned trailers all over this place. Like, you can see this. It's an entire, like, abandoned little kind of town. Not so much of a town, but there's one burnt trailer, two burnt trailers, and three burnt trailers. These trailers were used as meth labs, and they burnt down because of cooking meth. I guess somebody had an accident, things caught fire, things blew up, somebody else, I guess, set another one on fire. Maybe maybe it was the cops that set it on fire, I don't know, but we were told those were meth labs. There might be something left behind. There's CJ going into one of the trailers right now. Damn, this right here is one of the meth labs, you guys. Look at that, burnt to a crisp. Totally destroyed, totally. There's also an abandoned house over there. I'm eager to find out what's inside of that one. You know it's never a good sign when the vultures are spinning like that. So I broke it off from CJ, kind of by myself. Oh, what the hell? This place is destroyed. I don't even think this is safe to walk on. This looks like it was somebody's kitchen at one point. But I don't think this is... What the hell was that? I don't think this was one of the meth labs. Oh shit. Yo. Take a look at this. This was someone's kitchen. Now it's someone's living room. And it's completely destroyed. I have no idea how long this place has been abandoned for. But yo, look at that. That's creepy. Talk about all the sun you can possibly get inside of this house here. I don't usually film videos like this, especially trailer parks. They've never really interested me, but this one interested me because this one was legit a meth lab. Like, there, there were meth labs all over this place. So I'm eager to see if we can find anything that's not burnt, that's still a meth lab somewhere around here. Oh, this one here looks extra creepy. There's a hornet there. Okay, be very careful. Yo. Look at this one. So, oh shit, I just pissed off that giant hornet. Uh-oh. Um, Mr. Hornet, can we be friends? Please, don't kill me. Don't sting me, because I'm going to have to kill you. And I don't want to kill you. Fun fact, I actually hate killing insects. Unless you're mosquitoes, because those bitches are annoying. Hey, Mr. Hornet, uh, get away from me. <laughs> Dude, can you believe at one point this... That door literally just opened by itself. No, that door legit just opened by itself. And I caught that on camera. I thought this was a just abandoned, not haunted. Bro, this place ain't supposed to be haunted. What the fuck? I kid you not, I just caught that on camera. Dude, that's weird. Careful, watch out for those hornets. There's like a whole nest of them. I was trying to say, can you believe this used to be somebody's home? And that door just opens by itself. Man, that's crazy. There's no wind in here. There's a hornet right there. Yeah, they're living up in the insulation here. Haunted door aside. Look, there's two hornets right there. Hey, Mr. Hornets, are you guys horny? Is that why they call you guys hornets? Get it? Horny, horny. Oh, never mind. All right, guys, moving along. Leave the hornets alone before they do freaking sting me. Holy hey, CJ, what is this? A master oh, bedroom? Yeah, this is the... Hey, look at this. Bro, this floor feels like it's about to cave in any yeah, second now. Holy shit, there's bullet holes. Bullet holes? Damn sure looks like it. What else would that be? 
You're right. There are bullet holes in this door. And it looks like an axe mark. Holy shit. Open the door, CJ. I'll have gloves on you. Hmm. Well, this was somebody's master bedroom, I guess. Destroyed. Yep, definitely destroyed. Just goes to show you guys. Whoa, yeah, literally shit. the floor is about to fall. All right, let's move along to another one because this one's like really dangerous to walk in. Here's a note to anybody that wants to go exploring and adventuring. Never go in shorts. I decided to wear shorts today. It's really hot out here in Delaware. Um, because yeah, how about no, those shorts? Yeah, bro. Like, how about those shorts? I have a risk of getting ticks, bro. Uh, I don't want to get no ticks. You're never wear ticks, dude. Never wear shorts. No, I don't get ticks. I'm anti-tick. They call me the anti-tick man. Nope. Yo, CJ, what's on your face? What do you mean? <gasps> oh, dude, <gasps> those those are fucking nice. Guys, check it out. Go get yourself some motivated glasses from our shop, shopmotivated.com. Look at CJ looking all good on those yeah. glasses. They actually make you look ten times better. They do. <laughs> I'm just joking. And and they make me look ten times better, and I'm ten times more motivated wearing motivated eyewear. Damn! Look at that plug right there, guys. Shopmotivated.com. Go get yourself some of our merch. We got sunglasses, we got shirts, we got all the above, and soon, nah, I can't tell you guys what we're gonna have soon, but go get yourself some of these shades. They're actually really cool. They're at a 10% discount right now. Use promo code MOSARGY, link down below. Yo, I see something really cool over there. How cool is that? There's an abandoned gas pump over here. Jeez, I bet most of you guys don't remember. There's a freaking hornet living inside of that thing. Okay, more than one. I just woke up the hornet. Look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. Hey, Mr. Okay, Mr. Hornet. Hi. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm just trying to look at you. Jesus, look at that, you guys. This is one thing I love about the abandoned stuff is sometimes you find all the old things like this. You don't see this in gas stations nowadays. Now, there is an abandoned house here on this property. I haven't been inside. I don't know what's inside. Hopefully, there's something cool inside. Holy shit. What the heck is that thing? Holy crap, as if I just seen that. Literally, I moved this platform here. I thought I can get into this abandoned house from here. Oh god, it just disappeared. Oh, that was freaking crazy. You just missed something really cool. A frog that big. I swear to god, he's scared of it. All right, you guys, made my way into another one here. This one's looking like it's a bit better, it's a bit cleaner. It's not as destroyed. That's all the other ones. I tried to get into the house, but there was no way in. But it was cool because I did find a bullfrog in there. I wonder what other animals I'll find around here. Oh, this one's got a bigger kitchen. What the hell was that? There's bees inside of this one too. Gotta be very careful walking in these places. The floor literally might cave in any second. Take a look at this, this is the kitchen here. You know, I do a lot of night explorers. I barely ever get a chance to do day explorers anymore. I'm actually happy that I'm doing this one. It is a tiny place, just a trailer park, but it is content for you guys. You guys know I'm trying to drop daily videos. So, I mean, this is what you guys get. I can't always get all the big locations, the big abandoned warehouses, the hospitals. Oh shit, we got more hornets in here. Look at that one right there, it looks all mean and shit. <laughs> Mr. Hornet, go away. So yeah, as I'm trying to say, I can't always get the big warehouses and factories. I wish I could. Sometimes it's impossible to find these places. Sometimes we drive hours to get to these locations and they are all closed up and we can't even get inside of them. I don't break windows, I don't break doors, I don't break things to get into these places. If they're if they're wide open, if there's no no signs that say don't trespass, we go in. If there is signs that we don't go in because we don't want to get in trouble. So regardless, I hope you guys still smash the like button. Let's get 10,000 likes at least for this video. I know some of you guys will be like, oh, I don't like these videos. Well, I'm sorry, you guys come back the next day. You'll get something cool. What the shit was that? <laughs> A hornet just literally flew into the window. Yeah, like I said, you guys will come back the next day. You'll get something cool. I'm always posting new stuff. I'm always posting different things. I'm always coming up with new trends. Oh my God, the hornet's chasing after me. I'm out of here. I think that was your first time ever going to something like that. Well, not first time, but first time recording, yeah. Alright, so we just got the hell out of there. It wasn't worth us staying any longer. I might as well continue this video into some type of vlog for you guys. Because I know you guys like that. I know you guys like anything I post. So I'm thankful for that. I'm also thankful for all the support you guys have been giving CJ and I. Make sure you guys go subscribe to CJ's channel. His link is down below. Right now, we are actually trying to find some other abandoned type of location to film something cool for you guys. Something in the daytime. Because at nighttime, we're going to be filming something haunted. And today is actually 
unfortunately, my last day here in Delaware, right, CJ? Unfortunately, unfortunately man. Unfortunately, but it's all good. I'm gonna be coming back to uh, to Ottawa to film some cool stuff back home. And then after that, I think I might go, I don't know, I'm not gonna say right now where I'm gonna go because it's not guaranteed. I have a lot of locations and a lot of people that do want to film me, but it's never guaranteed, so. I'll keep you guys updated on my social medias like Instagram and Twitter and you guys can check me out there at MosRG. Alright, so this is kind of a bit of a twist in today's video. We are actually at the ocean right now, a place called Rehoboth Beach. Is that what it's called? I think so. CJ decided to bring me out here and show me some nice sights. You guys know how much I love the ocean, you guys know how much I love the beach, so why don't y'all come along with me? Let me go around and we explore and we see what we can find. I know we're going to find something cool out here. Yo, take a look at the ocean. I want to go swim, but it's not that warm out just yet. And I don't have any clothing with me. This kind of reminds me of Venice Beach a little bit. Yeah, but minus the shit smell. Bro, you want some massive clickbait? This is the most clickbait I've ever seen. Bro, doesn't this look like John Travolta? That actually looks like John Travolta, look at that. That's a massive clickbait right there. Yo guys, we got some sergeants out here. What's up guys, we're in the vlog. All right, so we've been on the beach for about two minutes and chill and I've had a few people recognize me. <laughs> two minutes and chill. Two minutes and chill. It's been two minutes yet. Oh, bro, ice cream. Yo, I'm like a kid. I'm it's get... like 45 seconds. Listen right. kids, there's nothing. Just don't be ashamed of becoming fat, okay? I'm about to become fat right now. I don't know how windy it's gonna be on these cameras, bro, but look how beautiful that is. This is the ocean right here. Wow. Man, this is so cool. Jump in. Bro, I wish I had some clothes. I would definitely jump in. I can't believe how massive and wide this ocean is here, you guys. Apparently, there's some big great white sharks in these waters right here. How cool would it be if one of them just washed up right now? Damn. This is a thing of beauty, fam. Holy shit. Nope, 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 nope. We're not having it. Not today. Not today. Really sorry if it's extra windy, you guys. Um, it is very windy here. It's not my fault. I don't have a wind. I don't have a wind protector on my camera. This isn't living a little. I don't know what is, guys. Get out there and live a little. Get motivated. This is what motivates me right here. Going to places like this. So CJ's telling me this is like the most famous pizza place around here or ever. Yo, it's the most famous at the beach. Hell yeah. At the beach. All right, I'll be the judge of that. All right, y'all. I'm about to try this famous slice of pizza that CJ's been raving about so much. He literally tells me about this slice so many times a day. He's like, yo, once we get out here, you're going to try this thing. It's so damn good. So let's see if it's actually good. It's not that good. Mm. I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> there goes my slice of pizza. <laughs> CJ, help. No, come here. The cup. <laughs> Look at my slice of pizza. Oh. <laughs> what happened? I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it? No. Nope. I was don't? taking a bite and it fell out of my head. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Literally, I'm dead. I'm dead. Rest in peace. And I was just saying, it's not the greatest pizza in the world. It's the second. Rest grade. in peace to pizza. <laughs> Alright you guys, I'm officially back in Canada. As you guys can see, I just took a quick flight back from Delaware, back to Canada. It's currently the next day. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It, it is a short one, but I've got so much to do. I've got taxes to get done with you guys. Taxes is so freaking terrible. I freaking hate taxes, man. Anyways, now that that's out of the way, today is April 30th. As you guys know, today is my last daily vlog. I promised you guys daily vlogs. Anyways, as you guys know, I've been doing daily vlogs for almost half the month of April. I told you guys I will be doing daily vlogs for the entire rest of the month of April in mid April when I said I would do this um, so I've officially completed that I haven't missed a vlog since the end that means I don't get a punishment as you guys know I said if I miss a vlog y'all have to punish me whether it's paintballing me whether it's me shaving my beard or whatever so I think I win this one so this means I might not be posting daily vlogs every day now but I am still gonna be trying to post daily vlogs it doesn't mean I'm not gonna post daily vlogs anymore let me get rid of these glasses I'm gonna continue to post daily vlogs 
Um, if I miss a vlog, it doesn't mean that I lost. I did say April 30th will be my last day of posting daily vlogs, but I'm still going to keep posting daily vlogs. So, the punishments do not apply anymore if I miss a day. You guys understand that. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of abandoned water park videos coming soon. I'm going to be doing some prison videos, some mental asylum videos. I'm going to be doing some new Ouija board rituals. Something that I'm actually coming up with and creating myself, and I think it's going to be really insane. Wait till you guys see what I have got cooking in the oven. I'm, whoa, super bright. Late. I got a lot of stuff cooking for y'all. I got a lot of cool videos coming out for y'all. Some videos with my boy Aldo, some videos with my boy Danny, some videos with my boy Ali. CJ might be coming here to Canada. I might be doing some videos with Omar as well really soon. So on that note, you guys are awesome. Don't forget to smash that like button. Guys, go 10% off Most Sarji discount right now. Use the promo code Most Sarji. Get yourself some awesome sunglasses. We are running out like crazy. Get them signed by me as well. If you guys get yourself some sunglasses, you're going to get them signed by me. If you request it on the website, Website after you purchase it so make sure you go get yourself some sunglasses some motivated apparel these are really freaking durable sunglasses like these aren't like crappy Chinese made stuff this is Italian made stuff the lenses are made in Italy they block out UV rays they protect your eyes they do good for you but on that note guys go check it out right now shopmotivated.com link down in the description below and in the comments below as well I'm gonna start doing something new from now on last positive comment on my videos is gonna get a shout out in the next video all right so on that note don't forget to be you do you stay engaged on my social medias go to my twitter like retweet i need to see some lots of engagement on my twitter guys and my instagram y'all ain't showing enough love over there all right so go there check it out do all that stuff you guys are awesome be you do you and just live a little i'll see you guys tomorrow